to a special edition of Savor the Flavors. My name is Brittany Allen and today I'm kicking off my Great American Hot Dog Tour. And what better place to start things than right here in America's heartland. Today I'm in Fort Wayne, Indiana to savor the flavors of the Coney Island Wiener Stand. The Coney Island Wiener Stand opened its doors in 1914 and they've been serving their family favorite Coney style hot dog ever since. Now I've been to a lot of places on Savor the Flavors before, but I've never entered through the back door. But if you've been to the Coney Island Wiener Stand, you know that's the way into one great hot dog. The name of the restaurant is likely a nod to Coney Island in New York, where it's believed that the hot dog originated. Now, the Coney-style hot dog, that originated in Michigan. A Coney-style hot dog is topped with raw onions, mustard, and a no-bean chili-type sauce. Now, before embarking on the Great American Hot Dog Tour, I did a little research, and I found out that when it comes to hot dogs, the bun is almost as important as the hot dog itself. And here, they're famous for their steamed buns, so much so. I had to get the t-shirt, but they put it on a t-shirt. Our buns are steamed. You gotta love it. Now, sometimes places like this, the legend is almost larger than the experience itself. I told you, you know, that it's a family favorite, but for some, it's a family tradition. Four and five generations have come here to wrap their taste buds around these hot dogs. Okay, people have been coming here for a hundred years for these hot dogs, and now, it's my time. Look at that. Onions, mustard, chili sauce sort of seeping out over the top. And remember the steam buns, nice and warm and soft. Let's get a big old bite. I didn't come here for health food. And I know this isn't. Mm. <laughs> oh my goodness. The bun. It sort of becomes one with the hot dog. The chili sauce, it's a layer of flavor. It doesn't overpower it. Mustard, just plain mustard. Nothing gourmet here. Though if you think about it, going back to 1914, based on availability of ingredients, this was probably gourmet. And um, those raw onions, you're gonna wanna get one of these because I might wanna kiss you later. <laughs> You know what, I'm thinking if nostalgia had a flavor, it might just be this. Our next stop on the Great American Hot Dog Tour takes us to the American Southwest, Tucson, Arizona to be exact. Here they're serving up their Sonoran style hot dogs at vending carts all over town. However, I always listen to the locals and from what I hear, this place is the best. It's on the corner of 6th Avenue and 22nd Street. Ruiz Hot Dogs. Here we go, Sonoran style hot dogs. Is that how you say it? Okay, I'll have that. And they're all set up for you here to uh, open your own sodas. Check it out. Perfect. Cheers. Manzana Lift. I've never had it before. That is refreshing on a hot Tucson day. It tastes like apple. I've never had apple soda before. Now I have. Okay, Sonoran style hot dog. It's the best in town. It comes with a grilled chili pepper. And here, what makes theirs unique is they 
toast or actually grill the outside of the bun, which makes it a little sturdier when you've got all those toppings in there. And it's sort of a cross between um, bolillo, which is sort of a Mexican bread, and a regular hot dog bun. Now, on top we have got mayo, and there's onions and tomatoes, and of course, it's wrapped in bacon. Everything's better with bacon. Here goes. Mm. Wow. I wasn't sure about all those toppings, but I'm telling you, it works, and I love the toastiness on that bun. It's so good. are grilled and a little shot of this for a little lift and what about that grilled chili pepper <laughs> it's like the sirens going off because the pepper is so hot but it's good mm. so delicious loving the Sonoran style hot dogs One of the questions I get asked most often is where do you like to eat out when you're at home? You travel all over the country enjoying great restaurants, but where do you like to dine out in Nashville? And as you can imagine, I have my favorites. And when it comes to hot dogs, there's several great choices in Nashville, but there's one that sets itself apart from the others. In fact, it sets itself apart from all of the other places we visited on this edition of the Great American Hot Dog Tour. This place is by far the kitschiest. Join me as I savor the flavors of I Dream of Weenie. I Dream of Weenie is located in the Five Points area of East Nashville, Tennessee. And here they're making and serving their gourmet hot dogs out of a converted Volkswagen bus. Here at I Dream of Weenie, it's all about the toppings. However, if you're just a ketchup-only person, they've got you covered too. They have a lot of gourmet toppings and topping combinations, and they have fun names for them too. There's one called Rebel Yelp, another one called Flame and Frank, and these are on the menu every day. Now, each day, they also have a special featured dog, and you can go to their Facebook page before you head out to learn more about that. And it usually incorporates ingredients that are local and or seasonal. So I've told you about hot dogs that are available every day. I've told you about the special feature dogs and now I'm gonna tell you about the super secret special. It's available every day, but you have to know about it. It's not on the menu. So I'm here to give you the heads up and today I'm gonna order the super secret special. In my mind, it is the epitome of a Southern hot dog. It is called a hot Southern mess. On the hot southern mess, you have things that are more like side items than condiments. You've got coleslaw, you've got pimento cheese, and you have chow chow. Chow chow is actually like a vegetable relish. It's peppers and onions and cabbage, kind of whatever is left in the garden. You chop it up, make a relish out of it, and call it chow chow. Underneath here somewhere, I trust there is a hot dog. I ordered the beef hot dog. And here what's kind of unique, we've seen places that steam the hot dogs, places that griddle them. Here, they're charcoal grilled. They got a charcoal grill rocket inside the VW bus. How cool is that? Now, time to taste. If I can do this, get everything in one bite. It's a mess, remember? Hot southern mess. The hot dog is good. It's got a little bit of a char on it. There's a little heat from that pimento cheese. That must be the hot in the hot southern mess. A creamy coleslaw. And the chow chow has a little bit of spice to it, not too much. It's, it's kind of hot, but it won't burn you up. All in all, a great combination of flavors. One more bite. Mmm. That is tasty. Just screams the south. In here, I've got a spicy ginger ale. It's called Buffalo Rock. 
This is made in nearby Birmingham, Alabama. The owner of I Dream of Weeding is from there. It's her hometown. So she imports Buffalo Rock ginger ale, and I love spicy ginger ale. Ooh, and that's spicy of a whole nother kind. I love that. Now, I've gotta let you in on a little secret. I come here for the hot dogs, but I also come here for these, the cookies. They're homemade. They have them here. You have to unwrap them. That can be a bit of a challenge. My husband loves these. He comes here just for the cookies sometimes. I find them in his glove box. He hides them from me. It's crazy. I'm here alone today, and so the cookies are all mine. Check it out. They're like these little pecan sandies, and on the inside, there's jam. And it looks like, well, let's taste. Mmm. I love the cookies. There's like blackberry jam in there. And it's a shortbread cookie just loaded with pecans. How Southern is that? I think they should have a separate Volkswagen bus just for the cookies. You have to get here early because they go fast. So next time you're in Nashville, make I Dream of Weenie part of your experience. And you just might find that you dream of Weenie too. enjoyed all the stops on my Great American Hot Dog Tour, and I know that you will too. If nothing else, I learned that the hot dog is a great foundation for just about any combination of flavors. I think this would make a great brunch item, or maybe a late night breakfast after work with your friends, or as football season rolls around, I think it would be a fabulous tailgate menu. It's flavorful, it comes together quickly and easily, and for that reason, I like to call it my breakfast brunch dog. As you know, I always like to suggest a spirit pairing to go along with my recipes. And what could be better than an Orangina Shandy? The one technique I saw while on the Great American Hot Dog Tour that I really liked was the Sonoran style hot dogs where they wrapped the bacon around the hot dog and I knew I had to incorporate that in my brunch dog. As you can see, I've already got a couple hot dogs wrapped. I'm gonna show you how I did that. You just take a knife and you cut a slice of bacon in half and you do that lengthwise and you might have to make a few cuts because it likes to kind of stick together we'll get through this and you want to use a thin cut bacon for this a thick cut bacon is too thick and it doesn't wrap well and it also takes too long to cook all right I think we can pull that apart just get half of it come on <laughs> And then we're gonna take our hot dog and we're just gonna wrap the bacon around it like this, sort of like a candy cane. Gotta kinda space it out evenly. Just like that. And we'll do the other one as well. And I've got my griddle heated here to 375 degrees. If you don't have a griddle, of course you could just do this on the stove top in a skillet. Just make sure you're working over medium to medium high heat. We're gonna put our hot dogs on the griddle. Nice sizzle there. And we're just gonna leave them sit until that bacon starts to render and it starts to get nice and crispy. And then we'll turn them so that all the sides get evenly crisp. Now, we learned on the hot dog tour how important condiments were. And there was one that was an obvious choice for me in this recipe, and that was hollandaise sauce. Now we're gonna make it quick and easy, so I'm using a season pack, a hollandaise season pack. I have a quarter cup of butter melted on the stove. To that I'm going to add one cup of milk and then the contents of our season package. Let's get that in there. Now I like a little heat in my hollandaise sauce. I like to spice it up, especially for this recipe. So we're just going to add a dash of cayenne pepper like that. Now we'll whisk this together and we're gonna bring this to a boil. And once it comes to a boil, we'll reduce the heat and allow it to simmer. And as we're whisking, it will start to thicken. Now, speaking of sauces, there was one more spot that I visited on the Great American Hot Dog Tour. 
and that was in Hawaii. In Hawaii, I had a puka dog. Now, puka dogs are unlike any of the others we had on the tour. The bread, or the bun, is really like a Hawaiian sweet bread, and they hollow out the center and then put it on these rods that are heated and so it sort of toasts the inside and heats the bread. It sort of reminded me of a curling iron. And they had so many different sauces and relishes and mustards. Some were very tropical, real gourmet experience here. They take whatever sauces you choose and then just sort of drizzle them in that center hole of the bread or the bun. And then they just take the hot dog and slide it in there. And of all the places we visited, the puka dog got my vote for being the easiest to eat on the go. All those condiments were just sort of contained and it was nice and neat and great to eat. Now let's look at our hollandaise sauce. You can see it's gotten nice and thick and we're just going to keep that warm until we're ready to serve it. Now let's look at our hot dogs over here. You can see they're starting to crisp up. We're just going to turn them a little bit. Look at that beautiful getting nice and brown. And what we're going to do now is add another condiment. And for that, I'm going to use maple syrup. I like to just sort of glaze them with that maple syrup. And it just gives it such a wonderful flavor. It tastes like brunch. You should smell it in here, the bacon, that smoky bacon, and then the maple syrup going on there. Beautiful. Now we're just going to keep cooking these until all that bacon is evenly cooked and nice and crisp. Now, as you can see, our hot dogs are looking great. They're almost finished. I'm gonna take and brush them with just one more layer of that maple syrup. Nice glaze on there. Gorgeous. While they're finishing up, we're gonna talk about some bread. We learned how important the right bun is for a hot dog. For this, I'd like to use these split top buns. I like them better than the ones that split on the side because they seem to hold up to more condiments and toppings that way. I also like a toasted bun inside or out. So I'm gonna to toast the outside. I'm just gonna take a little butter here and brush the outside of the bun with that. And we're just gonna toast those on our griddle until they get nice and brown. Okay, and while they're toasting, we're gonna talk about some toppings. Here I've chosen to use some diced tomato. Here's a tip, when you're dicing tomato, what I like to do is cut the tomato in half and then just take a spoon and sort of hollow out the inside and just use the outside of the tomato to slice it and then you can get a really nice dice on it. Also I have some scallions and for this I like to just use the green part and I slice them on the bias or on the diagonal because I think it makes for a prettier presentation. And because this is brunch we had to have some eggs. So lastly I have some diced egg. Now I think it's time to Flip our buns, see if we're getting a nice toast. Oh yeah, look at that, perfect. You wanna get both sides of our buns. Beautiful, beautiful. Now, I almost forgot, I never shared with you my tasting experience at Puka Dog. Check it out. Okay, I've got my Puka Dog. I chose the pineapple relish, and it comes with a garlic lemon sauce. I chose the spicy jalapeno, and also a lilacoy sauce, which is sort of a papaya flavor. Check it out. Look how cool that is. All the sauce is right in there with the hot dog. Let's try it. Let's see if I can get all three sauces in one bite. sweetness from the jalapeno, actually the spiciness from the jalapeno, the sweetness from the pineapple, and the dog itself is sort of like a Polish sausage. And they've toasted the inside of the bun, it's so nice and crispy. For those of you that aren't quite as adventurous, you can get mustard and ketchup and pickle relish too, but I wanted the full Puka Dog experience. Next time you visit Hawaii, if you go to the island of Kauai, you'll want to check out Puka Dog. Lots of fun. Now I think it's time to plate our breakfast breakfast dog. 
And to do that, I like to use these plastic baskets. They're reusable. You can get them at your local restaurant supply, as well as these paper sheets to go inside them or to line them. And I like to do it just like that. We'll take one of our buns. You might want to be careful. They'll be a little warm. Oh, they are. And nice and toasted. And just sort of set it in our basket like that. And then we're going to take one of our wonderful brunch dogs. Look at that. So, so pretty. Get it down in there. And we're going to get some of that hollandaise sauce from over here. And it's nice and thick. And we're just going to ladle that across the top. Get plenty on there. You don't want to shortchange anybody on the condiments, right? And now for our toppings. We're going to take some of those tomatoes, put them on top, just kind of sprinkle them across the top like that, and a little bit of that diced egg. And of course, some scallions. Beautiful, and there you have a break fast brunch dog. Speaking of breaks, I'm gonna take a little break, clean up here, come back, we're gonna taste, and I'm gonna share with you my Orangina Shandy. Here it is, the best part of the show, the tasting. But before we taste, I wanna show you how to make a Shandy. Shandies tend to be more popular in Europe, though they are catching on here in the United States. And what it is is just basically beer cut with either a soft drink or fruit juice of some kind. And I'm gonna show you my favorite shandy. For this, you need a nice glass of ice and also a lager. You can use your favorite lager, whatever that is, though you wanna make sure that it's not too bitter. And you're just gonna go about half and half with the beer and Orangina. If you're not familiar with Orangina, it's basically a cross between a soft drink and a fruit juice. It has pulp in it, which I kind of like, but it's also sparkling, and I love the effervescence of that. Maybe just a little more beer in there. We want, like I said, to go half and half, and it's kind of foaming up on us. And now, the Orangina. And I like to have a little shot of lime with it. Perfect. Okay, now it's time to taste. Here is our breakfast brunch dog. Mm -hmm. I love that smokiness of the bacon with the sweetness of the maple syrup. The hollandaise sauce is just nice and buttery and creamy on the top. The toasted bun has a wonderful crunch. The hot dog fully cooked, delicious. This is great for any meal, not just brunch or breakfast. And our shandy. Mmm, that is so delicious. It's so refreshing. It's kind of like a great drink to have by the pool too. If you don't want a lot of alcohol, this is perfect and it still has a great flavor. If you'd like the recipes from today's show, they're available on my website, savortheflavors.tv. I'd love for you to visit all the places I visited on my Great American Hot Dog Tour, but between now and then, I'd love for you to try my recipes. Either way, I hope you take time to savor the flavors.